Yeah, you needed forty dollars worth of ribeye steak. To be charged with shoplifting. You also charged? be charged. Yeah. I'm not a shoplifter. Yeah, not. From not scanning every item at self-checkout to walking right out the door with a full cart to expecting the store to comp items, shoplifters will try just about anything to get their stuff for free. We're breaking down the top 10 times shoplifters got caught in the act. Welcome to After Hours, presented by Law & Crime. I'm Sam Goldberg. We begin today's show in Pullman, Washington. It's May 2023, and this police officer is responding to a call about a shoplifter at Walmart. Nicole Lindsay allegedly walked out of the store with a full shopping cart. Hello, Zane. Hello, Nicole. Welcome back. I don't want to get arrested. See you. Well, you shouldn't have shoplifted then. Please. You know what I mean? I don't want to get arrested. I have to go to work today. Please. Uh -huh. So what happened, Zane? Uh, started watching her because of the merchandise and the amount of merchandise she has in that cart, which is the stuff outside the door. Um, she selected the cat stuff, groceries, stuff in the bakery, um, walked over to the produce wall there by the grocery door, and then turned and went out the grocery door, and I stopped out on the sidewalk. Perfect. You going to type everything for me? Yes, sir. Please, please Is she getting stop. trespassed forever? Yes. That's please good. Don't Smart. Arrest me, please. I was going to say that's a good idea. Stay please. seated, Nicole. Please. Don't be standing up. Nicole, this is a notification of restriction property. This means your trespass from all Walmarts in the United States. You can never come back to Walmart. This is a lifetime trespass. If you come back on the property, including the parking lot, it's a misdemeanor. If you steal with this in effect, it's an automatic felony. I need you so to... what's going to happen? This means you can never come back to any Walmart in the United States. Okay? So it's a witness. I no, he, he's, he's signing as the witness that you have been notified of this. I need you to print and sign. What's going to happen? This means you can never come back to Walmart. That's what we're talking about is that right there. So again, you cannot come back into the parking lot. You cannot come back into the can building. Can I still go to work today? I have no idea. That is not Please. up to me. This is for Walmart right now. So if you come back to Walmart, you will be arrested for trespassing. You understand? Yes. Okay. Cool. I have to read you something. Huh? I have to read you something. I don't want to get arrested. Please. Okay. We'll have to read this to you. All right. You have the right to remain silent. You understand? No. Okay, you have the right to remain I have work today. Can I go to work today? Nicole, I need to read you this. I know what this means. That's fine. Then let me read them to you. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand? Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. Do you understand? Yes. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand? Yes. And do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yes. Okay. So what? tell me about the stealing. I needed food. I'm starving. I had no food at home. Food stamps. I don't have any food stamps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where do you... Uh, I need... Are clothes. you living up on... Still about... Uh, 1165? Yes. Okay. Did, you, did, did Katricia move? So you needed food because you're starving? Yes, I don't have clothes either. Mm -hmm. and I needed a litter box so I can get my mm -hmm. cat's stuff. I wasn't trying to do it on purpose. Mm -hmm. I needed it. Yeah, you needed $40 worth of ribeye steak. I needed some food. We needed meat. Mm -hmm. So you went with rib ribeye? We needed something to eat. Mm -hmm. Like a sirloin wouldn't be good? Like you just were like, well, I'm stealing, so I it doesn't matter. I just randomly grabbed something. Like the most expensive one. I didn't know it was that expensive. Because you were going to steal it. I didn't know it was that expensive. I didn't look at the prices. Yeah. S'more cookies? Oh, but we were hungry. My we're boyfriend hungry? has to have sweets. He's diabetic. Cool. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Twinkie on there. A lot of sweets. <sighs> cat tree? My cats needed it because they keep clawing at the walls. I don't want to get charged with damage to the trailer. Yeah, I mean it's easier to like if you're gonna steal something. If you're gonna if you're gonna damage someone's property, to steal, right? A mug. A mug. Yeah, mug. Six bucks. I didn't take a mug. Hmm. Okay. He has a pack of root beer. Oh, mug root beer. What's the root beer for? We needed something to drink. Like water's not good enough. You got water shut off at home. No. You don't, do you? Could probably drink water. Yeah, probably could have. 
What else we got? Uh, this is men's Reebok for 18 bucks. Probably underwear. Underwears. Men's shoes. Your boyfriend ain't got no shoes. He just came in here barefoot. They moved down here from Virginia. No, I know it. I know it. I did. We just moved back. No, I know. I heard. I heard yesterday. I heard about it. Where's your boyfriend? At home. He just sent you down here to do the stealing. Yeah. Did Trisha move? No. She's still living up there too? Mm-hmm. You're 18, right? 19. 19. Yeah, yeah. Why'd you come back up from Virginia? I needed to restart. Well, it wasn't, didn't, wasn't working out so well when you were here. I just need to go to work. My job called me, called me in. They Dinner. want me to come in today. I work at Dairy Queen right down the road. Philly cheesesteak. What's that one about? It was a sandwich. Go check a bacon ranch sandwich there. Mm-hmm. $140 scoop free? What is that? Is that the litter box? An automatic litter box, yes. An automatic litter box? Like a regular one wouldn't have worked? I couldn't find one. You couldn't find a regular one? You just got the most expensive litter box? See, Nicole, there's a big difference between uh, being hungry and needing to eat. We were hungry, but I didn't need a litter box, and that was the only one I found. No, 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 no. There's, there's a big difference between being hungry and then, uh, and then what you did here. The officer appears to have had interactions with Lindsay before and heard that she was back in town after spending time in Virginia. Your boyfriend's up here from uh, Virginia. Yeah. How long do you guys plan on being here? So we've been here for a couple weeks. Yeah. Already committing felonies. It's not good. So, you got a criminal history. From when you were a juvenile. I don't know. Virginia, you get arrested in Virginia. I don't really need to go to work. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand. They called me in. They called me when I was here. They yeah. They wanted me to be at work. Did you tell me you couldn't talk to them because you were just stealing? No. I left that part out. Yeah. Left that part I'm out. I'm supposed to be there by 6.45. Mm. Mm. Yeah. By 6.45. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know, Nicole. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Let me talk to, let me talk to Zane. We're going to figure it out. So just hang out right there for me, all right? Don't go nowhere. I can catch you. You're dead. What do you want done? What do you want done? You want to you want to forward and get the hell off your property, or you want me to take her to holding and fingerprint her? It's up to you. I think she needs to go to holding. Please okay. no, please. Yeah. I really gotta go to work. Please, That's sir. Please, sir. Please. I yeah, want to come back again ever. Can you get me this done tonight? Please. Um, most likely, depends on how long she was in the store. Um, for the video okay. entire video, the store, but I can definitely get you a statement. Please. So tell me again please, what happened. No, Sit back down. Please, I gotta go to so work. So I started watching her over in. Uh, Pets. Um, she was moving stuff around in that cart. She had some high dollar pet stuff in there. She picked up the uh, scoop free pet thing and put it in there. Um, some kitty litter went over to grocery, picked up some cereal, um, went over to bakery, um, or went through meats, got the steaks, went through bakery, got all the sweets and stuff. And then she went into produce and grabbed the sandwich there off the deli bunker thing, mm-hmm. the sandwiches, and then stood right there next to the door until she thought nobody was paying attention and then turned and went right out the door. Which doors? Grocery side. Past all points too. Yep. Clear out on the sidewalk. Clear out on the sidewalk. Stand up. Please. There's please. no please. Stop. My, can I call my mom? Stand up. Please, my mom's gonna come Stand get up. me. You can call her when we're there then. You are under arrest for theft, second degree. What? Please, sir, don't do this. I didn't, please. Uh, Nicole, sir. first of all, let's get this right. Uh, I, I didn't do nothing. You did it. Can my mom bail me out? Uh, I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna figure that out, Nicole, because I want to see. Uh, maybe there'd be no bail. Please, oh. no, please don't do this, sir. No, no, once again. I won't come back. Well, I know you won't come back. Please. But once again, I'm not doing anything. My mom texted me. Can I just see what she said? Nope. You are a big girl now, Nicole. Can I just see what so, she said? I'll just do it up there. Okay. Ah, we can do it in here. Lots of people watching. Nicole, do you have anything on you that would stick me, stab me, poke no, me, anything I like that? I need to see what my mom Face the wall. said. I need to see what my mom Spread said, feet. sir. Please. And you are being on a visual recorded. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you understand those rights I explained to you, or do you need me to read those again, Nicole? I understand. Okay. 
back of my hand. When can I call my mom? I don't know, six hours or so. No, I need to talk to her so she can come get me. See the back of my hand? There. You got anything else on you other than your phone? No. Nothing else? No. Okay. I gotta call my work. I'll do my best to have that for you if I... I gotta yeah, call my work, answer. sir. Oh, okay. We're going this way, Nicole. Um, do you want me to call in the case call number? I gotta call my work. Yeah, just call the front desk. I think Sam's working. He'll give it to you. All right, thank you. Yep. What's going to happen? Well, um, you stole $800 worth of stuff, so I guess you'll sit in my holding facility for almost six hours. Let me call Fingerprinted and photographed, and we'll go from there. Let me call my mom, please. I need to call, make sure my boyfriend knows where I'm at. Yeah, face the car. Well, this will be a good lesson. Maybe he will learn not to send you to Walmart to steal. I, but I, if I tell you something, he said if I didn't go steal it, he was going to kill me if I came back empty-handed. Uh-huh, go ahead and have a seat in the back I'm of the serious. Ask my mom. He abuses me. Oh, okay. Ask my mom. Okay. My mom was going to call the cops on him. Uh-huh, okay. For threatening to snap her neck. Okay. I'm serious. While you're in the back of my car, you're being on an visual recorded by the in-car camera located directly in front of you. Thank you. The officer loads Lindsay into the patrol car to transport her to the Pullman Police Department. When can I get out? Mm, six hours. In six hours? Mm -hmm. And then I'll have a court. Yeah, like I would assume, you committed felony theft. So what would happen? Would I get released? What do you mean would you get released? You're not in a court tonight. Huh? You'll get released in like six hours. I get released in six hours. Six yeah. hours. Confirming your arrest in six hours. Yeah, I headed the BBD. I mean, unless there's something else that I don't know about. Yeah, that's the plan. Would I be able to get a ride home? No. I live all the way across the city. Okay, you're an adult now, Nicole. When you were committing crimes as a juvenile, it was a little different, but you clearly have not learned a single thing. Could I have somebody please call my mom when I get there? No. Please? No. Because, Nicole, when you were here before, all you did was commit crimes. You leave to, where'd you leave to, Virginia? Yep. You leave to Virginia, and the second, you can't even make it a month back here without committing a felony. So I'm not doing you any favors. I can't help it. It's a medical condition. I'm a klepto. I can't help it. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. I've been diagnosed with klepto. Okay. Well. It's a disease. I can't help it. Great. Maybe the maybe the prosecutor or the judge will uh, give you a prison sentence so nobody else has to be victimized. I don't know what to tell you. Will it literally be six hours or less? Or depends. No, it's going it's going to be the full six. Huh? It'll it'll be the full six. It will. Oh yeah. I can't. Nicole, you're a klepto. I can't. If I release you any sooner than that, you just, that's the sooner that you can steal from people. I understand. You can't help it. Why does that have to be six hours? I already told you. You told me you can't help but steal from people. So if I can keep the city of Pullman safe for six hours, I'm going to do it. It's, you're going to be walking, Nicole. There's too many places you could steal from. What if somebody left something outside? I'm not going to steal anything. Well, you can't help it. You told me that. You can't help it? I can't help it, but I won't see Oh, it. no, that's, no, I, I can't do it. Virginia. Can't risk it. Can't risk it. I want to at least let my boyfriend know that I'm gone. Why would you want to let him know? Doesn't he want you dead? Yeah, but I still care about him. He's going to worry about where I'm at. Pullman reception, Sally Port. All he knows, I went to the door, and he's gonna assume that I didn't come back, and then now what's gonna happen? I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, I mean, like really, like nothing's nothing's gonna happen. Like he'll just wait for six hours. Once inside the station, the officer wants to know more about the threats Lindsay was talking about. Nicole, talk about your boyfriend threatening to kill you. Well, he threatened to kill me. He said that if I didn't come home with full hands, then he was going to kill me. That was tonight? Huh? That was tonight? Yes. In front of your mom? No. But she, he has threatened to snap her neck, 
and she was going to kick him out, but she's giving him a chance to get help. Did he say how he's going to kill you? No. Why didn't you mention that before you were arrested? Because I didn't want him to go to jail. No, you don't his, care. His mom will kill him. What do you mean his mom will kill you? Because she told me to take care of him, and if I'm not taking care of him, she's going to come down here. What's going to happen to him? Well, I'll go talk to him, but he might get arrested for a felony harassment. I don't, I don't want nothing to happen. Here we are. I don't so, want nothing to happen to I him. can't afford for you to be victimized, Nicole. I'm be fine. I don't want nothing. I have the right to choose if I want to press charges or not. Nope, because you two are in a dating relationship. Yes, I do. Nope. Yes, I do. Nope. Don't you worry, Nicole. I don't want no one talking to him. Okay, well, I got to. I got to investigate it. No, you don't. Sure do. Nope. Don't. Please. Nicole, just like I got to make sure this property of the city of Pullman is safe, I have to make sure that you are safe. I am safe. I'll be fine. Nope. He's never hit me. Him threatening to kill you. I got to take this serious. Have a seat in there. Please don't do anything to him. I don't want him arrested. Okay. Please. Okay. Nope, you're in a domestic violence relationship. I have to I have to make sure you're safe, Nicole. You lied about that? Oh. Despite Lindsay's protests, the officer goes over to her trailer to check on things. Lindsay's boyfriend Garrison then opens the door. Officer Patty with the Pullman Police Department. Who are you? Garrison. Garrison? Hey, Garrison. Uh, the reason I'm here is I uh, arrested Nicole for stealing from Walmart. Uh, okay. Did you know she was going up to do that? No. No, you didn't? Okay. Do you have an ID I can take a peek at, Garrison? Uh, I don't. I lost my ID. Okay. So Lindsay didn't tell you she was going to go to Walmart to steal? Uh-uh. You guys don't got any food in the house? A little bit. You're not starving? No. Nothing like that. Since Garrison doesn't have an ID, the officer asks him to spell out his name for him. And Garrison spells his own name wrong. Uh, first name? Spell it for me. G-A-I-R. I-R. S-O-N. S-O-N. Middle initial for you, Garrison? A for Alan. Alan? And date of birth for you? Um, 2004. 04. What month? Um, January 2nd. January 2nd, 2004? Yes. So you, you didn't know she was stealing? Uh-uh. Neither you nor Nicole is starving? No. No? You got a little bit of food in the house? Yeah. You got diabetes? Maybe. I don't know. You don't know? You're not diagnosed with diabetes? No. Okay. So you don't need sugary foods to live? I don't know what that means, Garrison, if you've never been diagnosed with diabetes. Yes, actually. You need sugary foods to yeah, live? Yeah, to keep myself normal. Keep yourself normal? Mm -hmm. Okay. Garrison, did you tell Nicole that you were going to kill her if she didn't come back with full hands? No. You didn't threaten to kill her if she didn't steal for you? No. Do you know why she'd say that? No. That don't make no sense to you? No. Does it concern you at all that she accused you of saying... Is this normal to you? Doesn't bother you? No. Doesn't bother you that she told me that you said that you were going to kill her if she didn't come back with full hands? No. No big deal? I never said that. No, no, I understand that. She told me that. Oh. That doesn't bother you? No. I don't think you understand my question. You're okay with her telling police officers that? I didn't know she was stealing or nothing like that. Okay. You ever threatened to snap Katricia's neck? Nothing like that? Never. Is that something you would do? No, I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? No, never. Because it's wrong? It's wrong. Okay, You're well, wrong. it is wrong. Yeah, murder is wrong. After six hours, Lindsay was released as promised with a shoplifting charge.
Next, we head to Palm Coast, Florida. It's March 2024, a Monday afternoon, and police have been called out to a Walmart to investigate an alleged shoplifter. Police then make contact with Amber McCann in a parking lot. Is this your car over here? No. All right, would you come over here with me? Where? Over in this lane. For what? So, we're doing an investigation right now. Apparently, somebody walked out with a... Car, car put it in a random car? Yeah. Yeah, that was me. Okay, would you come over by the car with us? Uh, whose car is it? What do you mean? Whose car is it? I don't know. Me neither. Okay. All right. So where's all your stuff you took out of the store and I just put, put it, it I car? put it in a random car that was open. In a random car that was open? Yeah. For what? What do you mean for what? Because y'all come y'all was coming. Okay, so you just put all the stuff in a random car you didn't yeah. know? Yeah. It's a game I was playing. Okay. Yeah. What for? Um just for the hell of it. Okay. You got any idea on you? No. All right. I what? left it in the car. Which car? The random car. I don't know what car it was. What color was it? Um silver? Silver. Gray? Something just, like that. So you left your ID in some random car? Yeah, my whole bag. All my All right, makes sense. What kind of bag do you have? Um, what kind of I, think it's, I think it's a Michael Ford. Can you please not stand behind me? Because you're making me nervous. I'm the whole time. You were? Uh, yeah, he's in the car. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> what was your question? What kind of purse did you have? It's a Michael Ford's purse. Can you go get it for me? Okay. What kind of vehicle were you driving? It's like gray or silver or something. What kind of make? Model? Um, I don't know. You have no idea what kind of car you're in. No, because y'all were coming and I just ran up to the car and put it on. It's a game that we play. It's called 21. It's basically like you go and steal all the you can steal and then you get out without getting caught. So well, I did it one other time than this time, but I got caught this time. So now I got to figure out where my purse is and where my merchandise is because now I got to give all the merchandise back to Walmart. Well, it's not really a game. Yeah, it is a game. It's theft. To you, that's it theft. It's, so a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fun, too. It's really fun. Oh, going to jail is fun. Okay. Well, I suppose. Am I going to jail? Whoa, we'll see how much stuff you took. It's a lot of The officers can't seem to get a straight answer out of McCann, and she openly admits to lying to them. But well, my boyfriend car. doesn't know that I steal. Okay. And he doesn't know that I put all the car neither. Okay. So, yeah, we'll be really in trouble with him, but that's the, that's the so thing. So what, what kind of car is it? I don't remember, because it's what, a rental. What color? We just got the rental car. What I color? you said it was someone random. Yeah, I know. I lied to you. Uh, yeah, that's my boyfriend's car. He rented the car, and he was shopping, and I had found all the that I wanted because they told me to play 21 and my okay. boyfriend's older than me so he doesn't play that and I started playing the game this is my first time playing the game and I put in the back of the car and I saw you guys coming so I walked off but right now I need to figure out how much dollar value you stole from Walmart. probably a lot because I took a lot of okay so basically you got to put everything in the cart and ring it up and find out what the value of it and yep. then what's the next move and then I then depending on the dollar amount is if you go to jail or not. Well, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to jail because it's a lot of Police then searched McCann's car, which appeared to be full of stolen items. But the real evidence was inside the trunk. We good? Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. It just fell out. Look at there. Crystals. Hey. We got white crystals, bubble pipe, and a safe. Let me see. Two. Hmm, that's what. 
According to the Flagler County Sheriff's Office, deputies found marijuana in the car. And in the trunk, they found plastic baggies, allegedly filled with meth, Xanax, and more marijuana. Also inside a locked safe in the trunk, deputies found silver and gold bars, copper bars, and even a bar of platinum. The stolen items were valued at just over $1,000. McCann was later arrested and charged with shoplifting, possession of various drugs, and trafficking methamphetamine. Next, we go to Lombard, Illinois. That's where officers are responding to a shoplifting report at a local J.C. Penney store. So I've got five items. Yes. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. And what's our dollar amount? Uh, over three hundred. He's doing the receipt. Okay. Why does that matter? Yes, it does. Anything over three hundred dollars uh, could be a felony. The suspect, identified as Juliana Cerrone, tried to explain why she took the item she's accused of stealing. And can I just add something in here, not make you feel sorry for me, but I kind of am. My father is dying. Okay. Like, it's day to day. Does that and have I think it made me a little weak. Okay. Did, did that have something to do with what you took? Was it enough for him? No, I wanted okay. something aware to the... Uh, Awake in the funeral. Okay. He's, he's, he's not doing well. He's not dead yet, though, right? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. Do All right, so real quick, did you hear the, the story that she gave? Second floor, selected three cosmetics items. I, I, I don't think she's lying. That's not what I'm asking. Did you hear what she said? Yes. Okay, so you selected five items. You walked out into the mall on the second floor. You were stopped yes. by this woman right here. Okay. Yes. So, so why did we take the items? Well, the two men's thing were for my sons because my dad is dying, and um, they had crosses on them. But, but my question is, why did we take them without paying for them? Do you have the money to pay for them? Any money. All right, so you took them because you don't have the money to pay for them. That's why you yeah. buy them. Okay. All right. So after you left here, what, what was going to happen? You were giving them to who? Oh, you're going to give the uh, crosses to my sons. What crosses? I think jewelry boxes. Jewelry boxes. Yes. Okay, jewelry. And they were going to who? Hey, Tony. The officers want to know if Cerrone has been arrested for shoplifting before because it could impact what she's later charged with. You Have you ever been arrested before for anything theft related? Yeah. You ever been arrested for a retail theft? Yeah. Um, what about any kind of embezzlement or fraud, check fraud or anything like that? No, I'm not that smart. Okay. I mean, is this really that big of a deal? Mm -hmm. six for ten points. Well, yes, in that you're, you're taking stuff that doesn't belong to you. And like I, I said, there's that, a threshold for $300, that. and obviously felonies are a joke, right? So mm -hmm. anything over $300 would be even more serious. And that's, that's kind of where we're at, because you stole $342.90 worth of stuff. Which means, instead of just giving you a ticket, I have to take you to the police station now, and we have to book you, and we have to photograph you, and then I have to call the state attorney's office and see if they want to turn you to a felony arrest. But yes, it is serious. Despite her protests, the officers take her into custody. Go ahead and stand up for me, okay? I gotta, I gotta place you in arrest, like we talked about. Just oh, no! Yeah, I you know. have to. That's our policy, okay? Oh, so man! She's waiting for me. So we'd be in big trouble if we did it. Yes. You're rude. I'm not rude. Okay. I, this is our policy. Yeah, you know rude. That. We've been very nice to you and all the other people. I am You saying, know that. I haven't said nothing against you. You said it was me a second ago. Okay, you just said it. <laughs> one of the nicest ones. Yeah. Turn your wrist for me so it doesn't hurt you, okay? Just like that. There you go. Oh, right. Hold on, I'm going to lock you so I don't tighten on you because I don't want to hurt you. Can you bring my stuff? Yeah, we'll grab on that. Hold on. Be still, be still. Uh, it's it. kind of hard to be still right now. Please forgive me. Cerrone was charged with shoplifting and released pending trial. So we're going to get back to After Hours in just a second, but I want to thank a really proud sponsor of Law & Crime. It's Morgan & Morgan, specifically for sponsoring this episode of After Hours. I mean, this show, it proves how scary the world can be. And let's say, unfortunately, you're ever injured. You can turn to Morgan & Morgan and submit an injury claim in eight clicks or less. You don't have to leave your couch. You can do it all on your cell phone. And this claim, it could be worth millions of dollars. In the past couple of months, Morgan & Morgan saw verdicts of $12 million in Florida, 26 million in Philadelphia and 6.8 million in New York. 
Mind you, that's considerably higher than the highest insurance offer for these accidents. Also, and this is pretty cool, the fee is absolutely free unless you win. So you can submit a claim, see if you have a case, and then communicate with your legal team all from your phone. They've completely modernized the personal injury process. So to do so, all you have to do is go to forthepeople.com backslash after hours or click the link in the description and in the pinned comments. Now we head to Blue Ash, Ohio, where a woman wanted some of her items for free and the confrontation with employees that followed led to her getting hit in the face. Right, she has responded to the target. Uh, the patient has possibly impaired. The complaint states that a female charged into his office and assaulted him, so he punched her. Uh, the complaint's also requesting uh, to have his wrist checked. It's October 2022. An officer responds to the Target store and finds a woman, Karen Ivory, in the security office with an employee. So what happened? She okay, demanded us to secure at uh, 2046. Nice. Okay. Came up, I tried to verbally de-escalate. Uh -huh. She told me that she wanted to wreck it out and I told her we couldn't do that. Okay. And then she said, excuse me. And I was like, man, like I need to back up or leave. Like, but well, we can't do that for you. So she started charging at me, I came all the way back into my office, into an enclosed space, uh -huh. and I hit her in the face. Okay. All right, you and I have it all on video. Ma'am, are you okay? Physically, I'm okay. Emotionally, I am there. Car 4 David 31. Okay. In front of the big lot, uh, 825 8. Escape for suspicious okay. male white, long want, beard, uh, hat, and a glove on one hand. Stumbling around the parking lot. I need, she was a witness. witness. It's all right, it's okay. It's all right. Those are my glasses that he knocked off my face, yes. I tried to close you out of my office and you just kept on pushing your way in. That's right. No, sir. I didn't push my way in. Yes, I came. No, I came around the corner quickly. Uh, hey, would you I did not push quit through talking? Through. Hey, no. Excuse you? Stop talking when I'm telling you. You stop talking, okay? Do you know who I am? I, I will figure that out when I get your ID. You have cameras here, right? That's all, that's all that matters. You clearly don't know who I am. While the medics make sure Ivory is okay, the officer talks to the cashier that dealt with her as well as one of the managers who tried to help. Um, so I was walking by, and Dee calls me and says that this woman asked to speak to a manager, which like, happens a lot, you know. So First I, of all, mm -hmm. come here. Okay. I'm not going to have enough money to pay for this. I need to talk to a manager. She happened to be walking by. Okay, and you were a manager? Okay. I'm closing the They started here, and you can finish that part. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I came around, and I was like, hey, what can I do for you? Okay. And usually it's like like a, the price is wrong or whatever. Uh -huh. She starts going on this, this spiel about, uh, like, about how, like, I've had a privileged life, and she's been disadvantaged, and then said that she was asking Target to make reparations for her, and okay. I said, that's not something we can do tonight. If, like, if you need a donation, like, you can okay. call tomorrow, this, I can put you in touch like, with the HR person, the, the but, like, that isn't something I can do for you, like, right now, sorry. Okay. And then she, like, she was like, you need okay. to put me in touch with someone tonight, and I was like, I can't. There isn't, okay. like, strange. yeah. So, like, she just basically just kept saying that, and then she got really close to me. Mm -hmm. So I put my hands up and backed up, and she like followed me. She was like, like breathing into my eyeballs. Was she screaming at you? Or yeah. yeah. So she got really close to me. I put my hands up. I touched her shoulders mm -hmm. because she was like coming into my space. Okay. Um, and then she like. Because I touched her, she like went away public service unit, uh, after that and just started screaming request. really loudly and like backing up against the soda machine. Okay. And then that's when like our security person, yeah, he called, she called our security person mm -hmm. and he came over and like intervened and like then they started going and then she, she started like, she like, char like charging him, like they looked like they were going to fight. Uh -huh. So he ran to his office because it's like a locked door and yeah. it's all on camera. And then she followed him in there. The door got Sir, partially know, shut, so I don't know what happened after the door got partially shut. So she went into the office after him? Uh, yes. Okay. And then, like, once I got in there, she was on the ground. The security footage backs up the employees' stories. 
Meanwhile, back in the security office, Ivory is instructing the police on how they should be handling the situation. My dad was a military cop. Okay. I know the heart of people who go out every day and stand in the hard places and mediate it up. Okay. That's what you're supposed to be doing here. That's what we're trying to do, and you're the only one being difficult. But why? I don't know why. No, 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 you need to listen to me. No, ma'am. No, you do. Just because it's hard does not, don't make me stand I need you that to, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You need doing? to deal with the medics. That's what why they're here. When they're done, we can talk about what happened. We are talking. Talk with the medics. That's why they're here. What, what is your role at this point? You cleared me, right? She doesn't want to go to the hospital. Okay. Okay, we're done. Okay, so now as soon as they're done. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to have to get a refusal to have you sign. See? And then once that will be out of the way. Okay. We haven't been communicating. We're going to talk this out. That's what I asked to do in the beginning, and I got hit. Yeah, yeah. He's all right, so we're done. I got, I got hit yeah, because of his here, fear to have a big conversation okay. or to put me in contact with the people who could. Okay. The first officer returns to the security office to get Ivory's side of the story. I asked Sorry. for you. Young lady. Hi, George. 31 squads responding. I decided to take a stand. This is my Rosa Parks moment, dude. Don't play with me. After some more back and forth, and after reviewing the security tapes, the security officer tells Ivory she's banned from the store, and the police then place her under arrest. Yeah, ma'am, as of today, you're trespassed from Target. I'm sorry? As of today, you're trespassed from Target. On the basis of you hitting me? Ma'am, ma'am, let's go. Ma'am, 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 ma'am,
okay? You make contact with her body by pushing your body into hers. I just watched it clear as day on the video. Okay. He then came out and you followed him all the way back here. Okay. Making him fear for his safety. You backed him into an office and you got hit in the face, unfortunately. When people who are backed into a corner, they can choose, no, no, they can choose to do the right thing or they can choose to lash out. Okay, you were in the wrong here, just so we're clear. I held the line. You didn't hold and the I, line. No, no, I, I moved my line continuously. I asked, and when they did not respect, they were gatekeeping me. Like the whole world has kept people. Man, you were free to leave at any time. Absolutely. But you didn't. Absolutely. So because it wasn't you right. You amplified the situation. No, no. you wanted something When the for laws free. are not right, you, wanted something you for make free. a stand so they can change. Okay. He hit a woman out of his own feet. Not disagreeing, he hit a woman today, yeah. Absolutely he did. And it was in his own defense. So what we are gonna do is either A, we can walk out peacefully, or B, we can do it in cuffs. Why was he not no, why was he not being arrested? And because he said he could have called the cops, he realized he had a choice in that moment. I chased him into his office. So here's the okay, we're done. I need you to turn around, put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Right. Thank you. Ivory was arrested on charges of menacing and disorderly conduct. In December 2022, the court dropped the menacing charge but found her guilty of disorderly conduct. She was sentenced to spend one night in jail. We now go to Seattle, Washington, where alleged thieves were stopped in their tracks in 2018. Wait for him to come out. Yeah. He's going to run out with his laptop. Yep. You guys yep. setting up a little uh, theft scheme, huh? Police got reports from loss prevention officers that a group of people were gathering up electronics, hoping to then make a quick escape through an emergency exit. Officers then found the getaway driver outside and waited for the soon-to-be thieves to come out. Yeah. Oh, my oh, 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 Okay. Body camera video gives a better angle of the takedown. Let's just wait for him to come out. Yeah. He's just going to run out with his laptop. Yep. You guys yep. setting up a little uh, theft scheme, huh? No idea. You have an idea? No. them trying to kick that door open from the inside so mm -hmm. these guys all stand there waiting hilarious door goes Boop. they're all standing there with all the tv with they the, the computers they in their property hands. with them oh yeah and their okay. hands are like uh oh drop it try to take off and they just grab them right there police arrested a man and woman for taking the items from the store the getaway driver was also arrested investigators believe they'd done the same thing at a different costco earlier that day stealing more than two thousand dollars in electronics Next, we head to Ocean City, New Jersey, where an investigation into an apartment shoplifting incident at Target got a little more complicated when the two suspects took off in different directions. An officer spotted one of the women nearby and tried to stop her. Yo, stop. Do it down there. Stop. I swear to God, do it down there. Stop. Do it down here. Yo, stop. Stop. Come here. Here. Stop. Please. Babe, oh, so I'm going out there in front of. In babe, front help. Of. babe, help. Babe, help. Babe, help me. You're under arrest, that. For what? For what? Babe, help me. Babe, help. Oh, so I'm out with her in front of the Ford dealership. Stop. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Okay. Babe, help me. You make this way worse for yourself. I'm not fighting to do anything. You make this way worse for yourself. Can I get, can I get up, please, real quick? I can't breathe. Please. Yeah, turn around. Let me get up, please, quick. Let me get up, please, quick. You're making this way worse for yourself. Yeah, she was pulled from me. I was get walking up. up to him. 
Oh, it's 141. Where are you coming from? Marshalls. Marshalls? Yeah. Where else? Margaret. <laughs> Marshalls, and I went to Sierra. My fiance was at Target. That's who, that's who you, you're looking for. She's wearing a white shirt and, and gray shorts. Okay. That's what I was telling well, you they said she a, was. They said a female. Yeah, that's her. It's, it's, a, it's a female. She has short hair, white shirt, gray pants. That's who you're looking for. I think she left. That's not me. That's somebody. That's, that's yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, that's now. She, she's down there. I swear to God, she's down there. I just That's where I was going. I was telling you that she's down there. Okay. Yeah, but when I told you to stop, you started running away from her. Okay. Nothing. I I went to the to Marshalls. She's really looking for her. I know, but I'm saying you know they're not looking for me. Looking for her. She's down there. Yeah. Pull it. Pull it in the park, and I'll walk her over. After some initial resistance, police then take Hannah Pappendick into custody. She threw her fiance Catherine under the bus, saying it's actually Catherine the police want. Pappendick has a large black bag, which officers believe might contain shoplifted items. Saying that I guess there's stuff in her bag. Alright, put your feet in the car for right now. Yeah. Put the phone with her, that other stuff. She, that's hers, right? She said she has a receipt on the phone. I mean, you want to uncover, let her pull it up. I highly doubt it's going to be there, but you never know. It could be completely wrong. What's your name? What's your name again? I forgot. I'm sorry. Hannah. Hannah? Mm -hmm. And your other one's Catherine? Is that what you said? Catherine with a K, yeah. Catherine with a K, and you're Hannah? Hannah, yeah. Okay. Hannah, do you want to show us your receipt? I mean, I'll be honest with you, everything over there, it's like a casino. We're going to find out what you stole and what you didn't stole. If you're lying to us that there's a receipt on here, it's not going to do you any good either way. It, 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 it's over at this point. So do you really have a receipt on here or do you not have a receipt on here? I have a receipt for, for part of them and not all of them. Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. All right, all right. So there is certain things that you paid for and certain things that you didn't. Yes, I'm guessing. Sir. All right. All right, do you want it? Do you want to pull that up? You don't have to show us. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's up to you. We're, we're going to go to the store and we're going to find you're out. You're just going to scan way. in. They're going to tell us what was taken all this. Yeah. It wasn't. That's It'll just speed things along if if you want to show us. But it's totally your decision. We're not going to go in your phone unless you give us consent. Okay. Well, I can show you what wasn't what was if you want. No, that's all right. Okay. That's all right. We'll hold off. We'll, we'll hold just off. take over we'll there. We'll just go all over there. At least you're being honest, yeah. though. I yeah, appreciate I, I appreciate it. I know, I know, I know. I got you. I got you. It's not the end of the world. Once she's in custody, the suspect is a lot calmer, even chatting with officers on the way to the station. Yeah, you're going to get more charges because you so. I know, sir. I really wasn't. I really wasn't trying to. I was just trying to tell you that she was down there. I I apologize. I understand. I understand. Other officers have gone to the Target store to double check the security cameras and return any stolen items. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good. So we got the one of the two. We got the one that had the black bag. Okay. So she has merchandise in here. So she wasn't being 100% truthful with us, but she said some of that is hers, that she had a receipt but doesn't have, she said it's on her phone, but she doesn't have it with her. Is there a way you guys can tell? Yeah. Basically she's saying she bought a few things and stole the rest, so yeah. you know for sure what was taken? I mean, she never goes to register, but I'll be able yeah. to find that stuff. I yeah. can run it and yeah. find no transactions by her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All she right. didn't even go to a register today? All right, and then she stole it all. Yeah. I mean, if she didn't even go to a register, let her go to court and figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. she told, didn't she say she had it, like she yeah. went up and paid for some things? Yeah. Yep. Exactly. And yeah. if she didn't even go to the register, then it's all stolen. Yep. All right. Yeah, just, I'll just grab it. Anything that's your item that appears new is... 
Unless, it's it's unless like this doesn't happen if you have on camera. They've been here together at least one other time. She's been here two other times. Did this one steal anything? Yeah. Yes? That's today? actually who we were like physically watching today. Okay. Really? Yeah. She was the one we saw, like, this is going to be her. Let me, I'm just going to put a quick description out on her. Uh, this is all from one person. Yeah. Just the person you can uh, no, this is the other girl. So the one you guys were watching, mm -hmm. it's the other girl who had the okay. dark long hair. Gotcha. So when I was in there with Chris, I saw her taking... So the one with the backpack is the one we don't have the merchandise for. Right, but I think we know where she is. Okay. She's either A, sitting in the woods next to her motel... Or B, she's inside her room already. Okay. Because I don't have a total for that merchandise. Yep. Yeah, and then these look used. Obviously, you guys don't sell lighters or that knife. Uh, I think this is like a belly button ring or something. I don't know. Another set of officers went to the motel where Pap and Dick and her fiance were staying with a friend. There's a minor thing that happened. Uh, we're just trying to end it right now. Otherwise, we got to put a warrant out for her. She's going to go right to the county jail. It's a little thing. If she's here, boom, 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 summons on her way. But if we don't find her today, she got a warrant. She goes right to jail. So we can do All right. All okay. Right. Okay. I just, we just got to leave this a little bit. You can, you can close it right there. family we can't really say but I can tell you for sure that it's a, it's a minor thing disorderly person's thing not the end of the world I think she knows hi so, Catherine how are you hold on a minute go. want to put that down thank you for coming out we appreciate no it we're just going to yep. you down make sure you didn't do anything okay. just a minor thing at Target I think yeah, you know what it's yeah. about if you have any drugs or anything nope, on nothing. you that's going to hurt me poke me nothing nothing no. nothing all right okay Good case. Yep, so we just want to answer your question. Where's the bag that you took, that we Absolutely. saw on camera? Where? Back here. Where, over here? Back in the, by the, well, over there by the dealership. By the dealership? If I drove you over there, could you show me where you threw it? I mean, kind of, I threw everything. Like, I threw it loose. Yeah? Okay. I didn't want to be caught with it. Okay. Just put your hands together like you're praying. You have any warrants, Catherine? Nope. You got any warrants? I don't know if I've never met you before, I've nope. been arrested nope. before or nope. not. It's a shoplifting, it's not the end yeah. of the world. We'll Thank get you, you out in a summons and go to court, all right? All right, perfect. All right. I got your phone. Appreciate your cooperation. Good luck to you. All right. You got phone? All right, are right, we going to walk straight? 246 Ocean. <laughs> We go to around the other side. Uh, damn, really? Yeah. I have a female 41. 
Uh, promise you guys ran. Just hold on tight. Nobody knows what's going on. It's, you know, like Sergeant said, it's minor. Yeah. So, you know, we don't need to make a mountain out of a molehill, all right? Yeah. Just let your head get in there. Do you have any warrants or anything out for you? No. Okay, well, things go smoothly, you'll get released on the summons, right? Both the women were then taken to the police station to be processed. Next, we head back to Illinois, and this time it's not a customer who's accused of stealing from the store, it's an employee. Oh, hey, Dave. Can you come on the quick, please? So, uh, they got you on camera, basically taking money from the register, putting it in your pocket. Money? Where? Yeah. They got you on camera. Would you be able to empty out your pockets? The security officers in the loss prevention office say Deja Holly had been taking money from the cash register and then pocketing it. Two thirty-five. Two four. She took one at nine forty-five this morning. Four four three. This is from the prior days. Okay. Okay, you can sit here. You can have a seat. I have my own money. Okay. Well. I mean, it's on camera. Can I see for myself? Here's all the pictures. I'm going to show you the pictures just to show. Oh, like, there, not... There's a camera, like, literally right above you. I know, you. I know. So here's the times that I guess you were taking it uh, the other days, right? The other days? Okay. I can't see nothing. I see me putting and taking money out. And this yes, was that's mine. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna have her write a statement real quick. Okay. So Deja, this is. Is that all I was looking looking for something? So if you're Deja. gonna listen to what this gentleman's gonna tell you uh, to do okay. right now, okay? So right now you're at work. What I'm gonna need you to do is uh write a statement about why you have this money and explain to us what has happened on these previous days. Uh, well, how, how can listen, I know what happened okay. if I'm, well, it look like I'm taking it, money out of the drawer? I'm just letting you know. It's all on video, okay? So, I need you to write a statement about what's happening yeah. with this money that we were missing from your registers that you don't know. Okay? Like, right throughout, I'm confused. Right 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 I hear him. Okay. I hear him. Okay. okay. Like, y'all gonna make me mad. I'm being calm right now because I'm trying to see what's okay. going we're, on. We're being calm too. We're just explaining what you need to do. Okay? I'm just letting you know. That's this this is all documentation of all this money. This is all documentation of money that has been taken from the register that you worked on. Okay. These are still photos, yes, and we do have videos of it. Okay. Oh, so yeah. we're not just just because these still photos are showing what where your hands are at. Mm -hmm. This is not changing anything from the video. I didn't take so anything. So I'm just letting you know. We already have it documented, a video and everything of you getting the money. Okay. okay? The security officer wants Holly to write down an explanation for why she took the cash. But Holly is resistant. This is really what happens. It's already documented. It's already in well, the video. I, I want to okay, see so. what happened. 
That's fine. I'll tell you what happened. You're not going to see what happened. I'm not talking to y'all. Please. Listen, I'm talking listen. to you. But I'm not, not gonna, talking to you. You're not going to see it. And I'm telling you what's happened. Okay. Okay. But uh, like, what the hell? Video, I... Taking money from the registers and putting it in your so best pocket. So that's what y'all have seen. Okay. And that's what I didn't do. Okay. Well, it's on video. Okay. okay. I want to see the video. Well, I'm telling you. I'm telling you what's on the video. Okay. It's okay. I don't want to write no statement. You want to put it under, you don't want to write no statement, and you're going to put it next to I don't want to write no statement. Well, then you're going to, you're going to initial it. You're going to put it in there, I don't want to put no statement, you're going to initial it. Okay? Right. So right. Y'all go, right. y'all no go, statement and force initial me to write a statement or right. something. Write no statement, and then initial it. Okay? So this way, I can't put it in there that you did something. Okay? That's initial. D-H. Thank you. Okay. Right. Now you can remove your vest. Okay? That's one of my property. You have a work phone? Yeah, I do. Okay, so you can put that vest, the work phone here, put place right here. When Holly finds out she's going to lose her job and be arrested, things escalate with the officers. So what y'all for to do? Arrest you. Arrest me? Yeah, so you're going to do what they told you to do is take, get back home. Why is y'all arresting me? Because you're under arrest for stealing. I didn't steal anything. Okay, just take off your vest so then we can get out of here. Okay, can I go home? I didn't steal yeah. Like, I'm not even from out here. Can you work hard? Give me your hands. I didn't do anything. Put your hands behind oh, your I back or I'm going to tease you. No. I get my belongings. One for retail, or not retail theft, regular theft and No one's hurting me, resistance. sir. Can I get my phone and everything? I'll grab that in a second. What's, what else is yours that's here? Okay. I'm trying to, like, what the? Y'all just overdid it. Oh, you just literally broke up. 32. Oh, y'all said it. I'm sure the out of y'all. Y'all did this. Just calm down. Y'all be ready. Can I calm down, please? Calm down. I'm trying, bro. I ain't getting out. I'm over. You You, bro. Stop the I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm trying to calm down. Holly's bleeding from one of her fingers after her nail was broken in the struggle. What? Like, that don't even make sense. Y'all hurt me and then put me in an ambulance. What? You're bleeding. That's why you're getting you're, Y'all did this, bro. Why did you resist arrest? I did it. Okay. I did it. I asked, so like, can I get my thing? Throwing your phone at her. Oh my granny, oh my uh, oh my cousin on granny that's tatted on me, G. On I video. did not hit her. Okay, well, you're on video. body camera, so. I, wait, yo, did all day. After the fact, I showed, I asked her politely, can I go in the back and get my thing? Paramedics are then called in to check her out and bandage her up. While they do that, the officers search Holly's purse and make a new discovery. Right, you got ID in your purse? Yeah. Sure. You got one in Indiana? No, that's, that's not my ID. That's not my ID. Where's your ID? It's the pink here. Why well, you, you have two? One. Why you got two in Indiana? It's my fake ID. Yeah, I'm young. So you have fake IDs? Yeah, I do. I'm young. I'm 20 years old. Okay. okay. I like to party. I like to... Yeah, but this is legal. Okay, I don't give a... Y'all can throw them away. Y'all got my real ID. Oh, no, they're not, they're not getting thrown away. Whatever y'all go do it, I'm getting charged with it. Yeah, absolutely you are. That's forgery. Okay. It's felony charges. Okay. Okay. You're, you're, you're not going to get a break sitting here fighting with officers. I'm not fighting. I was never even fighting them. I asked them nicely, can I get my things? And they, he right here, he broke my nail at some old And you, you put your hands behind your back when he told you to? I okay. I was right here. When I was right here, I got up. And that's why he did all this, all right. everything. I'm not going to have to lie about that. Holly remained indignant about her arrest. Uh, we're just yeah. waiting for our sergeant to tell us what to do really quick. Because he has to, we got to figure these charges out. And then, what charges? Trying to see if you actually hit an officer or if you just. But you know I didn't hit y'all. That's something I wouldn't do, though. I moved, of course, because how you would just handle me like I'm a whole man. And I'll call you back. 
But y'all won't listen to nobody part but y'all. They they won't listen to me, but I hope it's on record for real. It is. Everything. Holly was charged with theft over $500, aggravated assault to a police officer, and resisting arrest. Next, we're in Hoboken, New Jersey, at a ShopRite store that is apparently plagued by shoplifters. Police respond to this location frequently to take alleged thieves into custody. In one incident in March 2024, officers got a call there was a possible shoplifting incident in progress at the store. The loss prevention officer told police that four young women in the store were trying to conceal items. Three of the four had stolen from the store the day before, according to the employee, but they weren't caught because security was focused on another shoplifter. The police watch on the security camera as the women allegedly hide items and leave the self-checkout area without paying for everything. They're immediately stopped at the exit and then taken to the security office. No, I ain't. How old is everybody here? What's that? 20, you? 20, you? 23, you? How much? 21? Right. Just so you know, saw the camera, everything up there. He only paid for some of the stuff. He watched it too. Supposedly it's happened yesterday, okay? Mm -hmm. 200, you have another car coming down here, right? That's right. We have 112 responding. What's that? You're going to try to complain, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, it is. The girls are shocked when they find out they'll be charged with shoplifting. Who has ID? I'm sorry? No. Nobody has ID? Okay. You have New Jersey driver's license and New Jersey ID? Not on you, but do you have one? Everybody has one? Do you have an ID though? So we have to sign something? All right, so what's going to happen is, um, for yesterday's incident, this is not the first time it happened. This happened yesterday as well. Um, for yesterday's incident, it applies to only you three. She was in yesterday. Um, for today's incident, it's for all, all four of you. Um, you'll be charged with shoplifting. You'll also charged? be... Charged? Yeah. Um, you didn't pay for another stuff. You passed four points of sales, and that's considered shoplifting once you leave the store. 200, is that 225? Yes. Um, you'll also be... Four Dad, females. Store. You'll be charged so on. How much is there? No. Let, let him finish. And then we're, we're going to explain everything yeah, before we're done. To to and then you'll also be banned from the store. You'll be signing this trespassing form that you're not allowed in any of our shop parts. Another thing, while you're doing that, if anybody lies about their information, gives incorrect information, we That's can charge you additionally with that. So just please be honest and in, save yourself in my another head. Information because. You're under arrest. Yeah, you're yes. going to be under arrest, yes. If you don't, then you'll, there'll be an additional charge for that. If I ask for a lawyer? You don't have the right for one at this time. Because you're not being questioned. You should be yeah. on your cell phones right now. Your first and last name, your date of birth. This is the trespass form. This time we're here for now. Who was in the store yesterday? One, two, three? One, two, and three. Okay. None of them said they were juvenile, so. The officer asked not to be on your phone. I know, it's yeah. just my mom. That's all. Okay, okay, okay. you can touch me sure later. Okay, if you were a minor, like we have to let you, but you're an adult. So just hold off on that. You'll get a chance to speak with her, okay? Thank you. Have you guys been asked before? No, I'm not answering my question. Okay. Right all right, there's, there's no need for that. Yeah, what, I was, what I was going to say, say is, if you weren't arrested, okay. you'll be out pretty quick. Okay. Okay, everyone's holding this. We'll verify when we get up there. Everybody says they're, everybody says they're adults, so. So. You saw, you have it right there. Where's the guy's receipts? Who has the receipts? Oh, yeah. He has it, okay. Can we have whatever they paid for? Yeah. You have it? And the total taken was 141. This is what they paid for. Mm -hmm. And everybody's 20 years old, 20, 21, 23, right? Yeah. yeah.
The four women were identified as two 20-year-olds, one 21-year-old, and a 23-year-old. Two of the women told officers that they were pregnant. The suspects were then handcuffed, and a female officer gave them a quick search before they were taken out and loaded into the patrol cars. Yesterday's incident, everybody except for the girl in the pink was involved. So there's two charge, two, so two, two counts. charge for everybody, but we're going to just do everything as the first one until they send us all the information. But all right, so only one count right now. So right now, yeah. We'll get to that stuff later. Just face that way. Okay, we're coming out. All four women were charged with shoplifting and released with a court summons. Now we go to another shoplifting incident, and it's at the same ShopRite location. This one happened in September 2023. When officers arrived, the suspect, Carol Hipkins, immediately spoke up. I tried to explain to these gentlemen I did not do anything intentional. I live here all my life. I just spoke with my friend Frank Marciano on the phone, uh, just saying that I've been held up here. I did not do anything to walk out of the store intentionally to steal. That's not me. I have plenty of money in the bank. I can afford the shopping cart stuff. My mother is in the hospital. I'm not feeling very well today. So it could have been an oversight. And whether or not he's saying how much it is, I did not do anything intentional. I certainly can afford to pay. You guys can see in my bank account. I've lived in Hoboken over 25 years. So what happened? Basically, this is what it is. This is so this is not her first time. It happened before. I, mean, I was watching her earlier. They had called me. I told them I was already on it. So they watched me. The loss prevention officer indicated that the store would be pressing charges, so Hipkins was taken into custody. You have to place under arrest for shoplifting? What? Yeah. You have to stand up. Just stand up? Can, uh, do you uh, have to do that? Can I just walk out with no. you guys? No. Nope. Seriously? Yeah. Come on, you have to stand up. Oh 115? 115. Um, before you place under arrest, can you have her sign that form? Do you want to sign the trespassing form? Sign that. That tells you she's not allowed here anymore, right? So next time she's in, next time you're in here, you're gonna just be charged. She, they don't want you in here anymore, or else we see paid. What's that? Right here. The card that's by Do you service. really have to put this yes. on me? You're arrested. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. And so this is what she paid for. So I don't need this. This is what she saw. Yeah. Okay. And then the stuff that she but paid for. But I didn't for, steal anything. The, I didn't steal anything. Why? Right? I, got, I have to check your bag too, all right? Yeah, let's check it right here. Do you have anything in there that's going to poke me or anything? No. No. Okay. Huh? That's the accessory I used to get. And this is how many times she's done this? I mean, this is the first time I've seen her, but you know, I would they, never they do told this. me she's done it before that. She don't pay. For and you guys have the, the. Yeah, but she was not on Facebook yet. So I was already watching her when they called me, so and they're like, oh, that's the lady. Uh, so and now she'll be on that? Yeah. So the minute she walks in, you know. Yeah. Are you guys going to hold her stuff for safekeeping, her groceries? Yeah. She's not on her bags. I don't know. Pick your bags, right? You got somebody yeah. to pick up your groceries? No. I need to walk my dog, Do you know too. if you have any um, yeah. warrants or anything? Do, no. That no warrants? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm not yeah. a shoplifter. You have the option to just put it back and go right back to the car. Yeah, do that. Yeah? Yeah, just return it. And then they called me, so I was like, yeah, I was already on to already. And she had the seafood and all the groceries and stuff. They told me, you know, 90% of, uh, of the time she doesn't pay for her groceries. So, so basically that's what she did. And there was seafood in the bag that didn't get taken out of. There was stuff that she was just putting in the thing, not intending it. And basically that's what so she was. And it's all on video? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to send you the... 
Yeah. I'll send you the link, just upload it. Um, and that's, 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 that's the receipt. Your groceries are being refunded, okay? Just so you know. Yeah. That's the grocery that she paid for. Which one's the one that she didn't pay for? This is right here. Right. Yeah, she didn't pay for this. This is what she paid for, but they refunded all her money. I don't need a photo of the groceries, right? Yeah, I got one. I'll add it to the link. You have a photo of it? Yeah, I'll add it to the link. You're on it, bro. Of the, of the, of this? Of what she stole? Yeah, you put it in my purse. All right. So this is what she's getting refunded. Okay. This one, right? This, no, right here. The 155. Yeah, 155, 81. Hipkins was processed at the police station and given a court summons on a shoplifting charge. We end today's After Hours in Wisconsin. That's where an alleged retail theft in 2023 turned into a high-speed chase. 146. The vehicle is not stopping. We're in northbound 41. 57 miles per hour. Looks like we're exiting capital. Hey, for a new point we have pursuit right now. We're going eastbound Capitol. The police believe the driver, Dariana Anderson, was involved in the theft incident at a nearby Dick's Sporting Goods location. At first, Anderson doesn't pull over, but then stops behind another car that's apparently disabled in the right lane. The officer then wants to wait for a second unit to arrive in case Anderson takes off again. 10 4. If one just wants to set up sticks ahead of us, just in case. A few minutes later, the second officer arrives and they discuss what to do next. Do you want me to approach and then if they take off, you can go? Sure. That works. How many, do you know how many occupants or anything? Maybe two. Huh? Maybe two, hard to tell at the tank. Okay. Is he set up yet? Uh, I didn't hear him say he was set up yet. Okay. Looks like he's almost there. What? Looks like he's almost there at 102. Okay. 606 is gonna approach. Their foot's still on the brake. And if they try to take off again, I'll follow. Can you make announcements for them to roll down their windows? Yep. Driver of the Camry, roll all your windows down now. 106 is Driver of the Camry, roll your windows down now. Six oh six is trying to make contact. We're not getting compliance with the driver to roll the windows down. Foot still on the brake. The officer by the car continues yelling and knocking on the windows, but Anderson isn't cooperating. Another officer at the scene tries to put stop sticks underneath the car's tires. They predict she's going to flee again, and they're right. Reverse. Contact and one forty six vehicles taken off again. Looks like the sticks hit. We are eastbound on Capitol. Speeds are 60. Traffic is medium. They are weaving in and out of traffic.
six. Speed's 90. Eastbound on Babbitt, approaching 92. They just went through the red light. Police believe the driver and another passenger have run into a nearby neighborhood, so they bring in a canine officer to help with the search, even looking underneath bushes in people's front yards. Yeah, it was a big crash. Crashed at like 8-4, 8-4 on southeast corner of Capitol. Into like that old first store. Yeah, I think so. The canine does his job and locates the driver hiding behind a trash can. Hey, get your hands up! Oh, hands not. up! Hands up! You're gonna get bit! Come on! Come on! Get your hands up! I see you behind the garbage can! Face away from me! Face away! Face away! Show me your hands! Show me your hands! All right, I, oh, I, 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 got, I got covered. On the knees, let's get her. Get on your knees. Drop down your knees. Shouldn't hold back, buddy. My bad. Keep your hands in your back. Things on the road. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Can I get some water? Okay, I just want to make sure. I see that the top was ripped. Was that? For, did you get bit by the dog at all? Anywhere? No. Okay. I just want some. Water. Okay, we'll we'll take care of that in just a second. All right. I'm just confirming that you have you, yeah you didn't get bit. My that was already there. Is hurting. Okay. All right. Stand up for us. All right. You want to continue? Uh, we only had one going this way, so I think this is. Yep. We're going to walk you back out to the front then, okay? Check here for another evidence. Police say when they searched the car Anderson was driving, they found men's clothing with tags still attached. Anderson was arrested for retail theft and eluding an officer. She entered a guilty plea and will face sentencing a little later in April. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Long Crime After Hours is written and produced by Savannah Williamson. Video editing is done by the Mikey Dininger. I'm Sam Goldberg. We'll see you next week. No, oh, mug root beer. What's the root beer for? Can you get something to drink? I think water's not good enough.